We could talk to the camera. We could say, Hey, buddy. Welcome back. Well, now you're doing the intro? Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back. back. And uh, today, uh, we decided we're going to unbox our uh, Nintendo Game & Watch yep. um, that was released recently for the um, Mario 35th yep. year anniversary. And I made a video, uh, I made a video about the, um, all of the 35th anniversary announcements uh, yep. when they first came out and this was one of the things I was excited for mm -hmm. uh, a little bit overpriced in my opinion $50 US um, just another way to play Super Mario Brothers in addition to another couple features um, but you found this on the shelf and you got really excited right? right yeah so we are going to take a look at that yeah. we're going to show this off yeah all right. So, why don't you let me do it because I have a sharp object here to open this. Okay. All right, we're gonna carefully. Um, there that goes. Open this sticker here. Come on. And there's something like, I don't know if this yeah. is true, I thought I read somewhere that there's 35 uh, secrets yeah. that you have to find somewhere in this. Uh, I don't know if I read that or just dreamt about it. Um, let's see if we can... Here's the first thing. If you, when, you, when you slide this sleeve open, it goes from the Super Mario Brothers screen to... What is that? It's the Game & Watch screen. Why don't you take a look at that? See, isn't that cool? Uh, that's worth at least $10, right? There's 10 of the 50. What do you think? Ooh. Okay, no, we're kidding. Um, but that's a nice little plastic <laughs> sleeve. And that's then... Toad over there. Yes. And Princess Peach. Toad and Princess Peach, right, 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 right. Okay, so here's the front of the box. We've got yeah. the Game & Watch screen. Why don't you show them the back? Okay, hold that still. Okay, so we have um, Super Mario Brothers. We have Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels. Okay, that was the uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, which was released in Japan. Came here as the Lost Levels. Uh, we've had a million different ways to play these for a number of years. Uh, then there's Ball, the Mario Game and Watch game Ball. And here's the fun. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you watching on the TV? And of course a clock. Okay. After all, it is a game and watch. So let's see. Let's open. Let's continue to open this up. Yeah. Yep. This is gonna be fun. Look at that. So it says as you open it. Maybe we could zoom in. It says special thanks to you. How about that? Mm -hmm. oh. And uh, let's, hey, we got to take what, our time, okay? What a great, what a great Mario. He's so good. He's, He's so good. He's so good? Mario's so good? What is that? You got a little cable that comes with it? Yeah. Charging cable, right? Yep, charging cable. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I'll try to do this. I've never really done an unboxing. Uh, video that is all right. Something else rattling around in here. Got the user guide. I got the user guide. Uh huh. Okay. And I'm Elsa. And, and you're Elsa. Yeah. Okay, Elsa. Why don't you put your magic wand down for a minute? Okay. And okay, we've got like a hot pocket style um, container here. This is very small, the size of a Game & Watch, I suppose. Mm -hmm. There we go. From what I understand, okay, so let's show off the front and the back. 
Mm. The all the all the buttons feel great. Um, people are saying excellent things about the D-pad. Okay, that feels nice. Yep. And the A and the B buttons, they're not the typical like rigid plastic um, yeah. NES controller style. They're more. <laughs> Whoa! You just okay. fell off your chair. Why don't you? Why don't you come back? Okay, so anyway, the um, the D-pad feels great, and the A and the B buttons, they're like a uh, more rubbery, a little softer. I don't think that should be a problem, but it could be interesting. So, should we turn it on? We got the power button on the side, the charging port, looks like a USB-C charging port, and on this side, I'm assuming that's a speaker. I get out. I'll get up and We don't need that right now. Here, look. I'll let you play this here. Why don't you turn it on? Want to turn it on? This button. Press this button. There you go. Wow, look at that high quality screen. Look at that. Mm. Press time button. Okay. Ooh, look at that. All right, we're not gonna worry about setting the time. Now I'm boring everybody, but you've got the time. Um, game. When you press game, you've got a choice of Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, or ball. Why don't you show everybody that cable? Let's see how long that cable is. How long do you think that is? About a foot long, huh? You got a 12 inch long charging cable. Looks like we have about half power on the battery, and um, you could cycle through the different games. And if you press, I want my too. look at that. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. I don't know why I'm uh, excited about that. I think the quality of the screen is real nice. It's just, like I said, it's just another way to play Super Mario Brothers, right? Let's yeah. see how loud this gets. There's probably a volume control. Out of the box, that's pretty good though. To try playing, don't forget to use the, this side too. You didn't get very far. I have. Come and try. I mean, what am I gonna do? Would it make a video of me just playing Super Mario Brothers on the Game and Watch? Yeah. Okay, so. Let's see what happens when we press game. You can press game at any time to switch games. We got Super Mario Bros. 2 here. You wanna try that one? Yeah. This one's a little harder even, okay? A lot harder, actually. Oh boy. What do you think of that? We're just gonna show, oh we're just gonna show the nice people all the features, okay? And then, and then I'll let you play this, all right? Okay, so when you press ball, you've got game A and game B. Don't know you don't know what the differences are. Oh, I think game A is probably two balls you gotta juggle, and game B is probably three. And when you press left and right, Mario's hands move back and forth to juggle the balls. How am I doing so far? I see. See? See him juggling? That looks fun, right? Yeah. My yucking. At any time if you press pause and set, looks like you've got controls for the uh, speaker volume and the brightness of the screen. To me it looks good, but then again I'm wearing sunglasses. What's the fourth one? The fourth one what? Oh, the fourth game well like i said there's only three games and then the fourth thing that you saw in the box is just a clock okay so overall um we're gonna end the video here i'll let you play with this um it's a nice little device um probably true to nintendo standards i'm sure it is very rugged um uh, so i feel real comfortable giving it to uh, you. Um, 
it's probably not worth the $50. You know, it's probably going to be a collectible trinket like anything else um, that they put out in limited quantities. I think they'll put out, um, you know, a certain amount until I believe they're discontinu discontinuing it until March, I want to say, of 2021. Uh, but it's, you know, it's a neat little way to introduce your, uh, your young one to Super Mario Brothers. And, um, yeah, what do you think? Yeah. What do you think overall? Do you like it? Yeah. What else can you say about it? You like Mario, right? Yeah. Look. What are those guys doing? Yeah, well, those guys are back. Jump. They're jumping? Right, jumping. All right, well, thanks, everybody, for uh, tuning in to our first unboxing ever. You're going to play this now. Yeah. And um, I really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.